Are you one of those students that takes excessive amounts of notes and rewrites the content over and over just to ensure the information is stuck in your brain? Well, here's how my story can help you become a more efficient learner. Hi, my name's William, and I'm a medical student at the University of Queensland. And on this channel, I teach people how to leverage medicine, health, and fitness to change their lives. So it started out on a drizzly Tuesday morning. No, I'm just joking. But on a serious note, I started out as an undergraduate biomedical science student trying to get into medical school. Throughout my undergraduate degree, I knew that I wanted to study medicine, and so I knew that I needed to get good grades throughout my degree in order to have a high and competitive GPA. That wasn't the issue for me. What the biggest issue was passing the medical school entrance exam. So I had taken the approach that I had learned all throughout my school life, and that was to learn, you just have to read something and then write it, and then rewrite it over and over again until it's stuck in your brain. The problem was this method got me absolutely nowhere and I just couldn't get a competitive score on the medical school entrance exam. So I knew that I wanted to become a doctor, so much so that nothing else appealed to me. But the only thing that was standing between me and accomplishing that goal was this entrance exam. I ended up taking that entrance exam four times, which was just absolutely excruciating and not to mention a big waste of money as well. And the thing that I realize now looking back is that it was my poor study habits that I had that was stopping me from getting a good score. And the sad thing about this is that most people have very similar study habits because no one really teaches us how to effectively study throughout school. And the scary thing for me was that I knew if I couldn't will myself to pass this exam, I wouldn't eventually be able to become a doctor. And the really interesting thing is, I actually got a small taste of that lifestyle as when I graduated my undergrad, I didn't have the score I needed, so I ended up just working in various sales roles and I absolutely hated it so much. It was like doing something on a daily basis that you weren't passionate about and didn't really excite you and you knew that you could potentially be doing more. That's how I felt on a daily basis and that's a terrible feeling to have. So I eventually got to the point where I was so sick of it that I decided to go back and try again and get into medical school. And I'm so glad I did because when I was studying for the med school entrance exam, in my case it was the MCAT, I stumbled across a video of how to study by Ali Abdal. In this video, Ali talked about how to use active recall and spaced repetition as methods of learning simply because those are methods that have been proven scientifically to be the most effective. And this was an absolute game changer for me. I still remember the day that I watched that video and I was writing things down furiously because I was just trying to absorb as much as I possibly could so that I could then implement those learning methods. And the most annoying thing was I was 27 and only hearing this for the first time and it dawned upon me how many hours I've wasted trying to study ineffectively. So just to give you a brief idea about those two concepts, active recall is when you read something or learn something and then you prompt yourself to remember that information. So that could be in the form of reading something and then rewriting that information in your own words or reading something and then perhaps asking questions to yourself about that information. And then spaced repetition is spacing your revision out over certain intervals because you're aware that all information consumed is subject to what's known as the forgetting curve. So spaced repetition could be that you learn something on one day and then three days later, you'll review it again. And then six days later, you'll review it. And then perhaps 12 days later, you'll then review it again. So ultimately, I use those two methods in conjunction with one another to study for the med school entrance exam. I ended up getting the score that I needed and got into medical school. And I am 100% convinced that if I did not use those methods, I would not be in medical school right now. So fast forward to now, I'm currently still using those two methods to study in medical school as I'm a second year now and it's helped immensely because it's just essentially allowed me to be more efficient with my time. In fact, as a second year medical student, I've stopped taking notes altogether. And the reason being is because I've realized that the information is out there, whether it be in the form of a lecture or uh, in your textbook or in video format. So why simply transfer it from one area to another, such as a notepad that you'll probably never look at again, let's be honest. So you can still use these two methods without having to take notes, and overall it's just made me more efficient with my time. And in reality, I don't think that I'd be able to get through medical school without these two learning methods, as there's just so much information that we have to consume 
And if I was still trying to rewrite everything over and over to get it into my brain, it would just be way too time consuming and not feasible at all. So that's how my study habits have changed, all from just watching that one video. The other thing is over time I've realized that being a student and being at university, it's also about having balance in your life and being able to have fun. So when you're able to use some methods like this to be more efficient with your time, it allows you to have extra time to do things that you enjoy just so that you can have that balance in your life. So as a med student, I'm all about trying to optimize my life, my brain and my time. So if you're interested in learning about ways that you can optimize your brain just by a few tricks that I've learned, click here to learn more. See you in the next video.